Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. So I thought we'd do something that's actually been on my mind for a little while and uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make a, a little bit of an interesting video. Uh, we're doing this in the living room today because I need to like stop recording in front of the mirror because every time I record in front of the mirror I'm just like looking at the mirror all the time. It's just, it's a terrible habit. Every time I look back on my videos I'm like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> just look at the camera. Uh, it's also better lighting in here as well. Uh, in the living room. So uh, yeah guys, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's get on to uh, my top five favourite bad video games. Yeah, like there's nothing worse than a bad video game. Um, you know, one that's really boring, just really glitchy, broken, and overall just not fun to play. But in my opinion, these five are really bad. Or they're, they're said to be bad by many, many people. Uh, but I actually like these games. I actually enjoy playing these games. I can see the faults of each and every one of these games, but I know I still enjoy them. I still think they're a good time yeah, if you get over their faults. And quite a few of these are actually quite short games as well, which kind of helps, uh, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, let's go on with guys. Top five uh, favourite bad video games. So, it's not going to really be in any order. I don't think I've got a favourite, like, bad video game. It's just like a, a top five in any order. So, we've got to go with this one, of course. Sonic the Hedgehog. Of course, of course. And I've put off playing, this, uh, playing for this game for so long. Because like, the first time I played this game, I couldn't tolerate it. I thought it was just absolutely dreadful. Um, very like, bad frame rate, just full of glitches. Just overall not fun to play at all. Just couldn't stand the game. And then like, earlier this year, I went and like, tried it again. And I actually enjoyed the game. I ended up playing for the game. You know, all three campaigns as uh, Sonic Shadow and Silver. And I actually had a blast this game. I've actually made a, a video like talking about this game, so I won't go into this one too much because uh, I've already covered it. But um, actually, <laughs> I actually had a lot of fun with this game. Like, it's, it is quite frustrating at times, it's quite broken, quite buggy. You fall through platforms. Overall, just a lot of weird like stuff happens on screen. But I absolutely still had a blast with the game. Despite all those faults, um, would I play through it again? Maybe. I don't think I'd play through like Silvers or Shadows again, but I would probably play through Sonic's campaign again just because it's it's fun. Like it's bad, but it's and it's a guilty pleasure game. Like I can definitely see myself playing it again because I don't know. I'm a sucker, I guess. Uh, sticking with this trend, I guess we'll go with Shadow the Hedgehog. So again, perceived to be a bad game by like many, many people. And you know, I can see why. I can definitely see why. Um, not played this one for quite a few years now, but uh, when I was younger, I actually really, really enjoyed this game. I thought it was cool playing as a hedgehog with a gun. You know, it's it's, a, it's an edgy version of Sonic, you know, what could go wrong? Um, yeah, I actually quite enjoyed it when I was younger. Um, and I got a little bit older and I played it again. I was like, oh, this is just not very good. I, don't really like this game very much. Uh, I even put this, I believe, in my top 10 like least favourite PS2 games. Bad me. Like, <laughs> it's nowhere near top 10 worst PS2 games in my opinion. And I ended up playing, playing it again a couple of years after, I think, making that video. And I actually enjoyed the game again. So, yeah, it's, again, it's got its faults. Like, it's got, like, what, 10 different endings or something? You with multiple paths and things, which is cool how you got multiple paths and like the final boss is different depending on what like route you take. You can take, you know, to be the good guy or the bad guy or the, the neutral route. And you get a different boss at the end. I don't think I ever like did the full evil route. I think I'm guessing you'd fight Sonic at the end. But I did do I believe the full like good guy route. And like obviously it's mixed and matched as I went along with other like playthroughs. Um but yeah, like I feel like if you just play through the game normally, just don't like take the objectives like too seriously just if you can be bothered to do a good route or a bad route do it if not just do the neutral route because some of the objectives are quite annoying um i can't remember what they were but some were quite annoying having to find certain things and stuff i think you have to do to like achieve like a certain route uh that's what i just play for the like play for the levels normally whatever route i got is basically is what i went with basically if it's something sounded annoying I wouldn't take that route if it sounded like reasonable. I'd, I'd maybe take that route. Um, so yeah, like if you do that, it's, you have a good time because like, some of the objectives are annoying. But um, yeah, you're playing Sonic. Yeah, 
I was like a headshot with a gun, Shadow. I like Shadow. I think Shadow's a great character, very very good character. I just think he's just a cool guy, you know, really really cool dude. Um, like his voice acting, I like his dialogue. I think it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I like the music. The music's pretty decent. Like not as good as like some of the other Sonic games, but I still think there's some pretty quality like like music in this game. Um, including like the main theme, like Shadow. I am. I am. So yeah, very good. Good game. Um, well, not a, not a good game, but it's a fun game. I, I enjoy it. Uh, next one is Alien Colonial Marines. Yeah, this game. Poof. Yeah, this game got absolutely battered. I don't think many people like this game. Like, I can see why. If you pay full price for this game, like, you got ripped off. <laughs> I don't know what the online was back in the day. I've never played this like online or that. I'm guessing. It probably died out quite quickly because the game's rubbish or apparently rubbish um, but yeah I actually thought the campaign for this game was actually pretty decent and I love the cover by the way as I'm sure I've mentioned many many times I'm a sucker for shiny stuff um, but yeah I actually think the campaign was like okay like there was quite a lot of like glitches like the xenomorphs was kind of like glitch into walls and get stuck on things and kind of looks like they're standing around like doing a little jig you know it's very very buggy, very buggy game. The Xenomorph didn't really feel like much of a threat. Um, just felt like a generic first person shooter with aliens. Really, it was not <laughs> nothing too special to be honest. Uh, some annoying fights when you're in like a mech and stuff. You have to like fight a Xenomorph when you're in a mech. That was kind of annoying. I remember that quite vaguely being you know quite annoying. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's not a long game, you can beat it in like 5 hours, 6 hours maybe, it's it's quite short for like a, you know, a modern day like FPS I guess. Um, yeah, I, I didn't mind this game, I thought this game was like okay, like I, I think I bought this for like £3, so I got my £3 worth, I uh, beat this twice actually, uh, a normal and then like hard mode. Hard mode was kind of annoying, that mech section on hard mode was a nightmare. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it's an okay game. Like if you like Xenomorphs, you know, like the Alien franchise, you know, give it a shot if you can like pick it up for a couple of pound. But you know, like I say, if you paid forty pound for that when it like first came out, yeah, I'd be quite annoyed. <laughs> Next one we've got is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. So uh, yeah, all roads lead to hell. And all roads lead to a rubbish game, apparently. Um, again, I'm a sucker for Resident Evil, so make a Resident Evil Raccoon City like walking simulator. I'd probably play and enjoy it. <laughs> Let's be honest. Like, say, just stick Resident Evil in anything. Resident Evil Snap, Resident Evil Poker. I'll I'll be all over it. Now, nah, like, I just think this is just like. It's a different kind of Resident Evil game. It's like a SOCOM game, like a, a squad-based Resident Evil game. You just shoot like a load of zombies. You've got obviously character like monsters returning from previous games, which I think is really cool, like William Birkin. You've got um, you know, Mr. X here. Um, you've got Nemesis at a certain point. Nemesis is like voice is absolutely shocking. <laughs> like I don't know who did the voice for for Nemesis, but he sounded really poor in this game uh, compared to Resident Evil Three, where he sounded really cool, really badass, really menacing. Uh, but like all the monsters in this game are really a bit of a joke, to be honest. But again, it's just one of those games. It's not like a, I don't know if it is a horror game, considered a horror game, but it's just more like a, an action, squad based shooter. You know, it's I guess with a slight horror element because it's got zombies in it. But it's not a horror, it's not like a survival horror game. It's not a scary game, anything like that. Um, but yeah, I just think I just appreciated going back to like other places and like you know. Fighting other monsters in our Resident Evil games, like seeing, having Nemesis and you know Mr. X and William Burke and all in the same game, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you just play as a bunch of random schmucks, like these like jobbers. I don't know who they are. Like they're just guys with masks. Um, I don't even think Hunk. They should have had Hunk as like a main character because you know Hunk with the gas mask on. Yeah, they should have had Hunk, but they didn't. Uh, Claire Redfield and Leon's in this game, and I think I think Sherry's in the game as well. But um, they don't really have much of a role, uh, which is kind of like disappointing. 
I should have had this game where you play as like all the Resident Evil characters, like play as like Chris, Leon, you know, Ada, Jill, um, Claire. Did I mention Claire? Maybe I don't know. Um, just just have like all the characters from previous games just return and have them all in this game instead of like random like mask dudes. I guess they're just umbrella like like clean up guys, but eh. She had like the main Resident Evil characters returning and be in that game. Did that come off? Yeah, this came off to Resident Evil 5, didn't it? She had Sheva in the game. Put Sheva in as well. I bloody love Sheva. Sheva's a great character. Very underappreciated character, Sheva. Um, so yeah, and the last one is, again sticking with the trend, this battered up copy of Resident Evil Survivor. Which, when you know what you're doing, you can beat this game in like an hour, hour and a half. It's, it's really, really short. I've got to say, this game is probably like, again, our five, six hour long game. It's quite short as well. Um, maybe that was quite fun back in the day, like online. I can see it's been quite fun with like friends and stuff online. Um, but yeah, once I got it to like the boat of sale, the servers were probably shut down. Um, but yeah, I, Resident Evil Survival say an hour, hour and a half to complete once you know what you're doing. Maybe your first player field will take two or three hours. I don't know, it's weird, like, when I first got this game I was still at high school. And I remember coming home after high school and playing it and it took me all night. I have no idea why. Like, what time am I getting home from school about, what, f ha well, finish at three, get back about half three, get my tea and stuff and... I don't know, like, six hours? It couldn't have taken me six hours. What was I doing? Was I just, like, looking at the scenery or something? I don't know why it took me so long when I first played it. Um, maybe I got lost. I don't know, memory's quite vague about that, but it's, it's quite strange. But you've got multiple paths in this game, um, which is quite an interesting thing. It's kind of like, a, adds a bit of replayability to this game. But, uh, yeah, it's like a first-person shooter. Um, you just, like, go around, like, shooting zombies and things until you get to like the next area. It's got liquors, it's got hunters, it's got Mr. X and it's got like a a totally new like final boss. Like a final enemy, final tyrant. I think the final tyrant looks actually pretty cool. Um I will say that about this game. Uh the main character you play as Ark. He's very like generic, like you you wake up with amnesia basically because you fall out of a helicopter and you bang your head and you don't know who you are or what you're doing there, and he's basically you know how to use a gun, though. I guess that's that's something. Um, you get a gun from the get go, so he must have had a gun, and he knows how to use it, and he knows what a gun is, so he can't be that. <laughs> he can't have that bad of memory loss. But um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's an okay, like just a, an okay time. Like it's not a great game. Like I don't know, it's there's a lot of frame rate issues and stuff with this game. It's yeah, there's quite a few like boring sections, but um, I kind of still like enjoy the game. I still think it's quite fun. If you've got like an hour, hour and a half to kill, it's actually quite quite fun after you've had a few drinks. Like, I don't know if you had like a, a bottle of wine or something, it's it's quite fun to play. Like just just blast for it. You know, it goes by in like a heartbeat. Um, yeah, I've played it drunk. I've completed it drunk. Because say I, I just know the game quite well. It's say, it's quite short when you know what you're doing. Um, but anyways, yeah, that is it. That is my top five like favorite like bad video games. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below what is your like favorite like bad video games. If you can't think of a few, what is your like number one favorite? Um, I don't really know what my number one favorite would be. Like I like all these games. Like they're all like fun to play. Um, yeah, I still think they're all quite fun. Um. It's quite good when you get a, like a, a bad game, you can kind of look past the faults and still like find enjoyment with the games. Um, I do like you know that. It doesn't happen very often. Usually, if a game's bad, it is actually bad. Um, but you know, I'm sure some people up there like Bubsy 3D. I've never played Bubsy 3D, but it looks absolutely atrocious. But I know some people do, like Pete Dore. <laughs> he likes it. But um, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you all later. See you guys. I can find this damn thing.